The earliest time measurements were observations of cycles of the natural world, using patterns of changes from day to night and season to season to build calendars. More precise timekeeping, like sundials and mechanical clocks, eventually came along to put time in more convenient boxes. But what exactly is it that we're measuring? Is time something that physically exists? Or is it just in our heads? At first, the answer seems obvious. Of course time exists. It constantly unfolds all around us, and it's hard to imagine the universe without it. But our understanding of time started getting complicated thanks to Einstein. His theory of relativity tells us that time passes for everyone, but doesn't always pass at the same rate for people in different situations, like those traveling close to the speed of light or orbiting a supermassive black hole. Einstein resolved the malleability of time by combining it with space to define space-time, which can bend but behaves in consistent, predictable ways. Uh -huh. oh. Einstein's theory seemed to confirm that time is woven into the very fabric of the universe. So if time is such a fundamental property, it should be in our most fundamental equations describing the universe, right? We currently have two sets of equations that govern mm. physics. General relativity describes the behavior of very large things, while quantum physics explains mm. the very small. One of the biggest goals in theoretical physics over the last half century has been reconciling the two into one fundamental theory of everything. There have been many attempts, none yet proven, and they treat time in different ways. Oddly enough, one contender called the Wheeler-DeWitt equation doesn't include time at all. Like all current theories of everything, that equation is speculative. But as a thought experiment, if it or a similarly time-starved equation turned out to be true, would that mean that time doesn't exist at the most fundamental level? Could time just be some sort of illusion generated by the limitations of the way we perceive the universe? If Einstein's theory is right, if space-time is what is real, if it really is the correct way to think about reality, then there is no flow of time. Everything past, present, and future exists in a timeless way, and the passage of time is simply a trick of our minds. Time is something which seems to progress. And according to physics, there's nothing like that. You have space and time. Space time is out there as a thing altogether. And what is it that's evolving? What is it that's, how does time kind of progress? And it has to do with our experiences. In my work, I try to write down equations that describe the world, uh, keeping into account everything we have learned, general relativity, quantum mechanics, thermodynamics. And what we do, uh, me and a lot of my colleagues, uh, is try to write this world and just forget time completely. Time is not a good notion when you go to the fundamental grammar of the world. It's an approximate notion. It's a local notion. It's a notion that has to do with our daily life. It's good at our scale. It's not good everywhere. There are many things like that in physics. Think about up and down. That's up, that's down. Totally obvious, totally clear. Many of you remember physics of, uh, of, 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 of high school. Uh, in the Newton equation, there's no up and down. In the universe, there's no up and down. When the astronauts go out, were flying to the moon, the astronauts were in their capsule, right? They were all floating around like that. And if one says to the other, where, is, where did I put the, the bread? He says, in the drawer, which one? The one up. What do you mean by up? There's no up here. <laughs> up and down make no sense in the universe. They make sense here. Why? Because there's a big mass, the Earth, and down means toward the Earth. So time is something similar. It's not something universal common to the entire universe, something local at the fundamental level, and these are the equations that I use in my work. We write this equation and there's no time. There's no t, no t variable. Um, however, there is this strange feeling that we have of time progressing, and there is a direction in which time progresses. The past somehow uh, determines what the future is, if you like, and the past is fixed and the future seems as though it's not yet fixed. I mean, are these things purely psychological or is there something out there in the physical world which is different about the past and the future?
Could time just be some sort of illusion generated by the limitations of the way we perceive the universe? 